Hey guys, here's a, a new video using my new camera. I wanted to share some of the things I got from the media sale I went to today. So this is my weekend haul. I got some really cool things, some things I really, really liked, and also some things that the kids liked. So without further ado, here we go. The first thing we have is Elton John's Greatest Hits. It's uh, you're gonna hear. It's the one thing you're gonna hear me say through a lot of these is this is in remarkable shape. It's very good, as you can see. It's got your song, Daniel, Honky Cat, Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road, Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting, Rocket Man, Benny and the Jets, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, Border Song, and Crocodile Rock. Seriously, there's only two songs on this album that I don't know. I've tested it out very briefly, and it sounds pretty good on the mini record setup, which isn't great. The uh, jacket is also pretty friggin' awesome and in really, really good shape. So there's Elton John's Greatest Hits. The next one we have is Pat Benatar, Crimes of Passion. Once again, in really, really, really good shape. Basically, I got this because it has hit me with your best shot. That's it. The rest of the songs I don't know. Don McLean's American Pie, this is one of those things that I think, like, they issued these to people in the suburbs in the 70s. I already have a copy of this, but mine is in nowhere near this condition. I've already listened to it. Once again, I'm amazed by how large the uh, track is for the width of the track for American Pie because it's a long song. Uh, jacket's kind of cool. Like I said, the record is in amazing shape. Uh, this is one I picked up for my wife. It's not in as great a shape, but the album is still good. This is just a, an OSU band, uh, thing. Uh, let's try and do this without hitting the camera. It's, like I said, it's just... Ohio State University band music. It's really, you know, it's really good. I've listened to it. It sounds good. The jacket's not in as great a shape as some of the other ones, but it's still pretty freaking cool. The last thing we have is a four disc Bob Seeger live album. This was recorded in June of 1980 in Detroit and October of 1980 in Boston. It's another one of those things that's got pretty much all the songs that you would expect. It's got You'll Accompany Me, Hollywood Nights, Old Time Rock and Roll, Main Street, Against the Wind, The Fire Down Below, Her Strut, We've Got Tonight, Night Moves, Rock and Roll Never Forgets. Those are my personal favorites for Bob Seger. Okay, that's the albums. Let me go ahead and do a quick reset, and we will go ahead and start looking at the CDs. Before I do that, though... Here is where I went. This wasn't the event that I went to, but it was at this same church when I was leaving. They gave me the flyer for their spring yard sale, but it was a media sale at St. Mary Magdalene in Columbus, Ohio, off of Sullivan Avenue between Sullivan and Broad. It was really cool. It was a nice little place. Uh, it, they had it down in the basement, and there was just a bunch of stuff going on, and I found a ton of cool stuff. But I'll go ahead and pause, do a quick uh, reset, and we'll start looking at other media that I got. Uh, here we are with the CDs. It's the next part of the uh, media we got. We've got Katy Perry, Prism. My, one of my daughters picked that up. Kelly Clarkson, one of my daughters picked that up. Taylor Swift, one of my daughters picked that up. Megan Trainer, once again, one of my daughters picked that up. One Direction, one of my daughters picked that up for her best friend, who is a huge One Direction fan. Another One Direction, this has actually not even been opened, so that's kind of cool. Last One Direction, once again, like I said, my daughter got those for her best friend, who is a huge One Direction fan. I picked this up. I have this on cassette tape. I have this on vinyl already, and now I have it on CD. It's one of those things that I have multiple copies and probably will not turn down a copy if I find one. 
Uh, these are ones I got for my wife, The Sound of Music, which is just the soundtrack for that. Mamma Mia, another one I got for my wife. The Best of Broadway, I'm not really totally sure what this is, but it's got Phantom of the Opera, Annie Get Your Gun, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, The Sound of Music, Fiddler on the Roof, West Side Story, West Side Story, Beauty and the Beast, Music Man, The Music Man, The Music Man, South Pacific, Les Miserables, Showboat, The King and I, Annie Get Your Gun, and Carousel. So it's got songs from a lot of really, really good uh, Broadway shows. I'm not really a Broadway person, so don't ask me about any of that. The other thing I got was the soundtrack for Oh Brother Where Art Thou. There's like literally one song on here I like, which is just I'm a, I am a man of constant sorrow, but my wife really likes like the movie and I got that for her. The last thing I got CD wise is actually the Garth Brooks box set. I didn't really need it. I have probably all but one of these albums already, but you know, it was one of those things that was 12 bucks, and I thought it was kind of cool. So let's go ahead and flip that open really quickly. We've got basically liner notes. This is the lyrics to all the songs. It's got a few other things in there, but mainly it's just the lyrics. We've got, and I don't know what order these are supposed to be in, but we've got six different albums. I know that is his first album. I think that's his third. That might be fourth. Uh, second album, uh, this might be fifth, and I don't know where this last one comes, but I listened to a couple of them. All the media is in really, really good shape, and I'm really happy to have it. So those are the CDs. Let me go ahead and reset once again, and we'll start getting into DVDs, books, and games. Okay, we're back with the next thing. These are DVDs from this media sale. One of my daughters got Casper. I think it was the oldest. We've got a copy of Tangled, which pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if anyone ever used the digital code for this, but I don't know. So I'll have to probably do that before I post the video so that that code has already been used if it's not already used. One of my daughters got Twilight. I have no idea. Don't ask me. Mr. Peabody and Sherman. That's pretty cool. I love that movie. Mary Poppins. You know, that's another one. One of my daughters got it. Uh, Meet the Robinsons, which was a good movie. I don't know if I'd want to watch it that many times to have it on DVD, but I guess we have it now. I picked this up. I'll either play it or for my son. It was still in the cellophane when I got it, and I took it out when I got home. It's three different Crash Bandicoot games, and it's got two bonus levels, so it looks like it might be some fun for Xbox One. Okay, let me go ahead and reset, and we'll start looking at books, and then I've got board games. Okay, and we're back, and the first thing we got is one of my daughters found this little book. It's it looks like they're postcards of various Van Gogh works. I've never been a huge, huge Van Gogh fan, but I mean, I, I respect that he has some really cool work. So there's a book of that. One of my daughters got a, an American Girl doll uh, book. It's some kind of mystery or something. I, I don't know. I was busy looking at albums when they got this. My one daughter also got a four volume thing of Minecraft. We have the combat handbook, we have the construction handbook, we've got the redstone handbook, and we've got the essentials handbook. So there are three of those, or four of those, I'm sorry. So there's that. One of my daughters is left-handed, so she had to have this book. Uh, there's not much to say about it. And then lastly, my oldest daughter got this because she's been playing with needlework for a while. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't have had my hand in the way. Uh, she wants to be able to practice at it. So all that's left is the one board game that I got. And I will go ahead and reset and we'll do that. Last things last is this. I am a huge Monopoly nerd, probably more a Monopoly nerd than I am a 
X-Men nerd, but I found this and it was a couple bucks and I just had to have it. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much there. What I like is it's one of the older styles that is a bifold board instead of the quad fold boards. I've never been a huge fan of the ones that fold up into squares. It was just seemed to me like bean counters were trying to save money but there's the board uh it's been played but it appears to be complete these would be properties i'm assuming like chance and Ooh. the other ones what? sorry to interrupt your video dad but maybe we could shoot another video of that playing maybe we could here are all the houses and hotels and the figures are actually pewter. There's eight of them, not pewter, but tokens. There are four villains and four heroes. Uh, we also have all of the money under here. So, like I said, it looks pretty complete. I actually hope to play this, but like I said, I'm a huge Monopoly nerd. I am not a huge X-Men nerd, but that is the extent of our weekend haul and our media sale that we went to. Uh, the media sale was kind of weird. I mean, it was one of those things that a lot of the people there were a little bit older. And by a little bit older, I mean probably in their, like, late 60s or more. Uh, they had originally planned on having it a month or two ago, and then they pushed it back. I don't know why. I was talking to the one lady when I was checking out and told her that we had heard about it, and we were really excited, and we were waiting for it. Uh, so anyways, I got, what, 10 or 12, uh, CDs, the Garth Brooks box set, the Monopoly game, the five or six albums, the six or seven books, and everything, and it was seventy three fifty for all of that and the Crash Bandicoot game, so that should say something about the deals I got. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I consider it a very, very successful weekend for what we got and what we spent. So uh, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and give me any comments. Uh, hopefully I want to do some videos with the OSU album just because I don't believe there's any copyrights on that. I think I could actually play some of that music on a video. So I... Possibly we'll use that to show you the mini setup that I have for testing CDs, tapes, records. It's a little boombox and a little record player, but it actually does a really good job for testing. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.